Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Eddy Labs. Hope you are doing good. A very warm welcome and wish you all a great happy new year 2018. And uh, let's begin with a new video. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't upload a lot of videos in the last two months because of a lot of personal reasons. I was switching my job and switching my location and other things. So a lot of things were in transition. So I'm back with my new momentum and new enthusiasm. And like you already know, there are only seven days left in the examination. So this particular video is about those last minute tips and last minute reminders. I just want to talk briefly about three key things that are very, very critical to performing your best in the exam. So one of the most critical thing in any exam is to stay relaxed and focused at the same time. You should be able to control your emotions and you should be able to stay focused for the longest period of time. That's what the exam is all about. It will test your creativity, it will test your aptitude, your attitude, but above all it will test your ability to stay focused in those three hours, right? So don't get over excited when you see an easy question or don't get too nervous if the question is completely out of your reach and you're not able to have any clue what you should be doing about that question, just skip that question and move to the next one. The whole idea about giving that exam is to maximize your correct answers. It's completely fine if you miss a couple of questions and if you are not able to understand or solve it correctly or attempt it properly, it's completely fine. Don't get nervous. If you see a couple of questions are difficult or if you are not able to easily crack few of these questions, it's completely fine. But try to stay focused and try to stay relaxed. Your state of mind is very, very important. I've seen a lot of people screwing their exam just because they got panic attack at the last moment or they couldn't do their best in the exam because of some or the other disbalance of emotions. Sometimes you are too excited about the question and you don't even read the question properly and just attempt it and move to the next one. A lot of times you are so nervous that your creativity goes down drastically and you are not able to focus on what is to be done exactly to come up with a creative solution for that particular problem. So stay focused and stay relaxed. Number second is be observant. You can capture 10 times more information from any given product or scenario if you are observant. I'll give you a simple example. So I was not well for the last two weeks and I was having this kind of uh, curve syrup, right? Now, for an ordinary person, it's just a cuff syrup packaging, right? But if you see as a designer, there are lots of interesting elements and it has been designed very thoughtfully, very meticulously with a lot of good graphic design skills. The way the person has, the designer has used fonts, the way he has used layouts and the way information is getting communicated and like what is free, what is the dosage for age group, the barcode, the other information like what all this medicine contains, everything is designed very meticulously and very carefully. Even the icons of those particular medicines are very well designed, right? So all I am saying is this kind of information is in abundance around you. Now, if you are not observant enough, this will look like just another packaging. You may not give enough attention to small, small design elements. And that's what the exam is all about. It will test your observation skills. The questions will be very, very everyday life questions. It will not ask you triple integration level questions, right? Or some crazy physics problem. Those questions will be around your lifestyle, around your day to day activities. But if you are observant enough, you can see n number of differences, n number of details, n number of interesting design elements in any regular thing like a simple cuff syrup packaging. So 
questions like you know identify different types of fonts or different types of uh, layouts or different color compositions and stuff like that these things can be easily cracked if you are observant in your day to day activities in your day to day lifestyle and day to day products okay and it's not very difficult you just need to pay close attention to each and every square inch of products or objects or anything that you use on a daily basis or see on a daily basis right and and then the third aspect of any kind of exam question solution is you have to be your own judge you have to be your own critic in the examination from the perspective of creativity and quality of work so for example there is a question of designing a railway station platform or anything like that you need to judge with your own eyes that whether you have drawn enough details into the sketch whether you have attempted the right perspective and everything because then and there in the examination there is nobody else checking your copy except you right so be your own judge whenever you come up with some ideas in that 10 15 minutes time span just think for a moment is this idea creative enough is this idea new enough like is this fresh enough to be put as a solution or it's it's a common idea just think from a different perspective from a different person's angle that will he or she be able to think about this idea if the idea is too common and too easy that everybody can think about it it's not exciting enough for you or anybody then don't draw that idea think for another 5 10 minutes and then draw a better idea okay and in parallel to this whenever you are attempting a question first do a small doodle and id will give you couple of rough pages in the answer booklet and use those rough pages very meticulously very thoroughly those rough pages are for you to do your iterations are for you to explore ideation in that 10 15 minutes whatever time you get in the examination so use that extra rough pages and draw at least one or two options of whatever questions being asked like suppose there is a geometry question or a, there is a 3d geometry kind of puzzle and you need to draw multiple facets of a particular object or you need to draw male female uh, side of the particular object or an exploded view or any any sort of question instead of attempting directly on the pr- space provided you should use those rough pages and try to do- draw a small miniature version of your solutions and think using a graphical method that whether that will work or not in that 15 20 minutes if you are able to do that judgment properly you will be able to gain extra 15 20 marks which will be like a critical decision factor in your selection or rejection right so these are the three things i wanted to communicate and i hope this will help you gaining those extra 5 10 20 30 marks and uh, anyways you are pretty smart so the rest of the preparation i don't need to talk about you have already done enough of it i guess so just stay focused stay relaxed and be creative be your creative best and hope that everything will be great okay so with this i would like to end this video and hope this new year comes with great surprises for you all till then bye bye take care see you in the next video